Hi. Somebody's obviously not given a rat's ass. <laughs> Dumped a gigantic mattress. Anyway, today's PC find is this large looking beast. I got no idea, but check it out. Thousand watt silent power supply and a teeny tiny motherboard. So let's take that back and see what's what. There is actually another one in the dumpster there. Ah, might as well take both back just for kicks. Well, this thing's absolutely enormous and it weighs a metric ton as well. Didn't even fit in my wheelie bin, so I had to come back. Just that thankfully it's got a carry handle on the top. Very convenient. Um, it's got the USB 3s. Look at that. You can see blue, but external eSATA. Nobody has that anymore. But uh, yeah, a CM Storm. I've got no idea. But it's got like nine slot <laughs> nine drive bays on the thing absolutely insane and as we saw it's got a thousand watt cooler master power supply obviously had a graphics card in it that's been ripped out because there's no way you'd have a gigantic case like this with the tiny little motherboard that we're going to take a look at and the motherboard well it's got the parallels on it so and ps2s but it's got usb 3 so it's not exactly new, so probably a, like an early gen um, Intel processor in it. So nothing special. It's uh, like the case is crusty as. So ditch the case, got no use for it. But motherboard might be useful in that power supply. Thousand watt jobby. Ugh, check it out. That's real crusty burger. That is. Nobody's ever cleaned this bad boy. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously they've ripped uh, everything out of it, and uh, I wonder what it was used for. I mean. You know, I put this on Twitter. Somebody suggested like a CAD workstation or something like that. That was like just all GPU and they didn't need much CPU because it's just got like, you know, stock Intel cooler on it. Like it's not a high-end motherboard at all. It's only got two slots, which you don't really, you know, rarely find that in like a full form, a full height um, case like this one. Really, you only find that in like the even the low-end small form factor. PCs. So anyway, we've got a gigabyte motherboard. There's the model number for those playing along at home. And uh, it's going to have nothing special under there. Early gen processor, but I'll power it up, see if it works. But certainly that uh, thousand watt power supply, that's a bit of a score. So um, it's, assuming it works, uh, you know, I wouldn't go, if it didn't, I'd just dump it. I wouldn't go to the effort to uh, repair the thing. It's just not worth my time with the number of power supplies I find. But no, I've never found a thousand watt jobby before. So yeah. Okay, I haven't blown this thing out yet, but let's switch it on. So if we get anything. Uh, the motherboard, by the way, is a fourth gen processor motherboard. So. You never know. Where's the soft switch? Never know your luck in the big dumpster. Wah, 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 wah. Assume that's power. Oh no, there we go. That's a gigantic button on the front. Fans are whirring. When did it pop up? Oh, fans stopped and then started again. That's good. It means the process is doing something, I guess. Have well, I got the correct input? Those fans keep whirring up and they start up and then they go back. Getting nothing on the screen though. Okay, so it's not booting. Does have a processor though. Uh, I did try an external video card, but it didn't work either. Uh, the paste leaves a bit to be desired there. It's a bit crusty. So let's get that out, see what we got. Well, nothing to write home to your mum about, I'm afraid. It's an i5-4670K. That's got a pass mark of about uh, 5500 or thereabouts. So yeah, not the best processor I've found. Is a fourth gen though, so you could put something better in that uh, motherboard, assuming that the motherboard works and there's nothing actually wrong with it. Um, I don't know. The processor could be dead, could be memory problems. I don't know. It's just anyway. Um, it, I haven't even fully tested, stress tested the power supply, but I don't know. It does something. The fans were at least. That only goes for about sixty bucks on eBay. So even if it did work, yeah, it ain't worth much. Let's power that back on. Have a measure. Do some basic rail testing at least. 4.0. Whoa. Uh, yeah, no, there we go. 12.29. Oh, and it's shutting off. Yeah, so it's hiccuping. So that's interesting. 5.09. So that's good. But yeah, yeah, power supply's hiccuping. Something's uh, 
that could indicate that there's some excess load on it, shutting it down. So yeah, the problem with this is it's not really worth my time. With the amount of uh, machines I find in the dumpster, it's not really worth my time to actually muck around and test this and troubleshoot it and find out what the issue is um, and whether or not it's uh, usable or not. Even the, even the monetization on second channel videos is not uh, worth my time to actually do it. So what I'll probably do is strip out the 1000 uh, watt power supply, give it a good blow job and uh, put that in my uh, Tubbo power supplies. Um, so yeah, it might be able to use for uh, something useful in another, because I've got better cases and this case is just too huge and <laughs> too crusty to uh, to keep. So yeah, I might take the motherboard out of it. It might be useful, little compact form factor motherboard. Um, it might still work, so who knows? One day I'll just keep them in the parts bin. But yeah, that case, yeah, no thanks. Anyway, leave your thoughts down below. Catch you next time.